Okay, welcome back to FTL. When we last left off, we were playing through with the Type B ship of the Kestrel, which is called the Red Tail. We just finished up Sector 3, and now we're about to move on to Sector 4. We finally come across some civilian sectors, which is a nice change of pace. And let's see what it has in store for us. The store down there, which I'm going to jump to immediately because I'm running very low on fuel. And I'll sell that anti-personnel drone. I wonder if I should buy door or drone control now. Um, yeah, this is probably as good a time as any. And of course we get a system repair drone as opposed to something that I'll actually use. But at least it's there now. a stasis pod. Uh, as I've said before, this is the start of the crystal ship quest. Um, right now I'd really have the weapon. I'd really rather have the weapon and the scrap. So, wow, we got a decent amount of scrap and then a really valuable weapon. Alright, we're definitely going to have to buy all of their fuel. Cool, we get a free defense drone Mark II. Mark II is basically twice as fast as a Mark I. It will shoot more often. It will be able to shoot down incoming lasers as well as missiles. They do require uh, twice as much power. But if you've only got one defense drone, uh, it's nice to have a defense two instead of a defense one. And let's remotely repair these guys' targeting system. Oh wow, we got a really big reward for that. Really hope this node right here connects to some of these, otherwise I'm going to have to backtrack through the Rebel fleet. I've had to do that before and it sucks. Alright, got a quest marker. Alright, good. Let's explore the asteroid field. We get some more free scrap. Excellent. Let's check out that quest marker. Let's deliver the cargo and see if we can get another crew member. Success! Oh, and it's in the Zoltan. That's excellent. I wonder where I should put him. You know, I'm going to try that tip somebody suggested of putting two Zoltan in the shield room. This way we always have one level of shielding power. We can turn it off entirely and we still have one left. So that's nice. This sector went by very quickly. We finally come across a hostile encounter. I think this is the first one in the entire sector. So here, because all of my weapons have slightly different charge-up times, I have the basic lasers and the burst laser, I'm going to wait for them to all charge, and then I'll queue all of them up at the shield. This will maximize my chances of taking them down. As you can see, this enemy ship has pretty high evasion, so... Oh, and they've completely disabled my weapons. That is less than ideal. Something like 20 seconds, too. Thankfully, that's only a burst laser 2 it has, so only one of its shots will get through my shields, assuming they all fit. That is an ion bomb that drone is using. Very annoying. Okay, their shields are down. <laughs> They've disabled my weapons yet again. The AI on the ship is actually kind of playing it the right way, which I'm surprised by. I'm gonna heal up my Zoltan while I'm at it. Okay. 
and he's finally dead. And we get more scrap and yet another weapon. Excellent. We have enough ammo now that I may actually end up using those breach missiles too. They're very powerful. Just kind of looking over my current situation right now. Pretty happy with things as they are for this sector, so let's move on. quest up here. Let's check that out. And we get some free stuff for delivering those drone parts. And I am almost out of fuel. Oh, now would have been a really good time to upgrade my drone control so I could use the defense drone, but I'm just going to have to tough this one out. And all but one of those shots missed. That is a little frustrating. That's more like it. Wow, this guy has really high evasion. Or I'm just having terrible luck. And now they're trying to jump away. I think I can prevent that. Offering us free fuel for surrender. I'm gonna take that because I am getting pretty desperately low. And excellent, there's a store right there. Let's go ahead and check that out now just so I can pop off my fuel. Oh, good, they have a whole bunch of fuel too. Alright, let's sell off the stuff that I don't plan on using, including that burst laser 3. And now we have a whole bunch of scrap, so I'm going to buy cloaking. Uh, tempted to buy another defense drone too, and just make myself pretty much impregnable during the final boss fight. Uh, that would require a lot of drone control upgrades, which do get pretty expensive. So instead I, instead I think I'm going to spend the rest of my scrap on upgrading my various systems. I think another level of shielding sounds good and some more power. Alright, now we can run everything except the defense drone at the same time, which is pretty nice. And we're ready to move on. A whole bunch of stuff in this little chunk of sector, so we'll visit it all in turn. It's a deserted space station. Bit of a shame. Another empty sector. See what kind of orders they send on. Two mantis. This is going to be a handful. I'm just kind of trying to figure out what the best strategy for dealing with these guys would be. I'm going to go ahead and send my Engie forward to pilot the ship, and I'll have my two human crew members try to keep them tied up. This is going to increase my weapon reload time, but I think it's more important that I keep the Mantis from destroying any critical systems. Alright. Alright, that was a nice burst of damage there. Well, I think we're actually going to win this fight. Let's going to be a close one. Uh, I may have to send them to heal. Oh, they teleported off. Okay, I'll take that. I would love to get the experience from killing them off, but it's more important to just have them off my ship. reward for that. More free stuff. Always good.
And more fuel. I wish some of these were not Engi. I would love to hire some Mantis or some Rockmen. And now it's time to start thinking about what kind of long-term weapon we I want to look at. I'm very tempted by this heavy laser. It's basically a slightly better burst laser too, and I think that would be a good replacement for one of my basic lasers. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I believe I can power... Yes, I can power all... Well, both of my nicer lasers. I think I should probably buy another brick of power with an eye on eventually being able to run my defense drone along with all of my other systems. Oh, the dis this distress signal was a trap. I guess the gag of me pretending to be surprised by that is probably getting pretty old. I should cut that out. Alright, let's see if we can punch through this. Oh, I was slightly mistaken. The Heavy Laser 2 doesn't fire three shots like a Burst Laser 2. It only fires two. But each of those shots does two damage. So if you've got their shields down, it's very nice. just going to have to farm this sector a little bit because, oh no, fighting the rebel fleet's boring. I'm just going to go to the exit, make this a quicker video. Fuel for drone parts? No, I don't think I need that. Let's just move on. healing burst, which I won't use, but will be happy to sell. Oh, I'm going to take a chance and see if this guy is on the up and up, because I would love to get a free Mantis crew member. Nope, he sabotaged our ship. That's a pain. But it only did a little bit of damage. It didn't actually destroy any systems, which would have been more annoying. I think with the heavy laser, it's more efficient to treat it like a beam weapon, where you don't want to waste its shot punching through shields, you're better off waiting until their shields are down. Yeah, like now. Thankfully, they're not interested in my shields. I realize that there's actually a couple airlocks in this room, so I will be able to lower their health via oxygen deprivation. Only one of those shots hit. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think I'm just going to straight up suffocate these mantis mortars. I don't feel like losing health to them. You can see they really have nowhere to go, so 
that was pretty easily dealt with. start upgrading our weapons some more. We can afford that and maxing out our doors, which based on our recent Mantis adventures, I think is a good idea. Get some free scrap in exchange for a little bit of damage. Solitary man is bored, that's okay. Not too worried about him. Oh, and these guys have a defense drone mark too, so I am going to have to fire in one big volley if I want to punch through their shields. And yeah, none of those hit. This is gonna take a while, I suspect. went ahead and let that man in just for the sake of getting that fight started. Alright, there we go. We took down their drone control for the time being. I'm going to leave a couple weapons aimed at that and then keep working on their shields. schematic. Ah, oh, the Dread Pirate Tuco. I'm not sure why this guy identifies himself. I'm not sure if it's just flavor or if there's some sort of quest that you can do. I've never really found anything more interesting about it, but there might be something to do with it. I keep forgetting I have cloaking, and this would be a very good fight to remember that, so... Try to keep that in mind. And I think I'm going to have to turn on my defense drone here. Really don't want to take a hit from that big missile launcher. You can see uh, Defense Drone 2 targets much faster than the Mark 1 as well, which is very nice. And one of those got through, which is too bad. Just barely made it to the exit. We have a lot of missiles, so I don't 
think I want to sell half of them, but I will sell ten. Because that means we can fully upgrade our shields. And with that, we already move on to the penultimate sector. We'll make it a pirate-controlled sector. I'm not doing super well on scrap collection this playthrough, just because we haven't had as many hostile encounters as I normally do. But I think we're still in decent shape. have to wait for my engines to turn back on and we'll be able to get out of here. Go ahead and wait for my shields to start back up as well. Okay, these guys should be fairly easy to deal with since we have so many laser-based weapons. They do have two ion weapons, which is somewhat worrisome, but we'll see how it goes. time that I upgrade my weapons to the point where I can use that breach missile. I'm really not getting through their shields quickly enough with this current loadout. Thankfully, I think we have enough scrap to do that. Quite enough weapon capacity yet, but one more upgrade and we should be able to do that. hire the mercenary to delay the rebels here because I would like a little bit more time in this sector. I am running very low on scrap for this point in the game, so these guys I will go ahead and fight. Oh, they've got a pretty nasty weapon set up here. This is going to be interesting. I'm actually going to turn off the heavy laser and turn on the breach missile.
very nice. I like that one little spiteful laser shot into the weapons bay, that was pretty funny. I don't think you'll be going anywhere. Oh, well, that missed. Spoke too soon. That's a nice reward, but I really would like more scrap than that. Okay, form two of the final boss is going to be a challenge with this setup, but hopefully we'll be able to pull it off. You find a store, which is nice, but nothing I can really use. survivability against the boss with this playthrough, but we'll see how it goes. Well, we have borders, it would seem, in our cloaking I'm actually sucking the air out of most of my ship, just so they won't really have anywhere to go. a store there. If this has a weapon, I'm going to breathe a, breathe a huge sigh of relief. No, no such luck. Um, hmm. Let's look over our upgrade options before I decide whether I want to take a risk with the crew teleporter. gonna take my chances and see how this goes. trying to sneak by this automated ship. He 
you can see, if you can afford to power your cloaking unit and you upgrade it, you get a significantly longer cloak time, which can be very nice. With stealth weapons, it's fantastic, because then you can shoot without depleting your cloak. Oh, he cloaked just in time to dodge that missile. That's okay. Taking some hits. laser. I don't think that's going to replace any of my current armament, but I do want to just take a look at it real quick and see. Uh, no, there's no reason not to swap out the basic laser for the heavy laser. Uh, does double the damage for the same power requirement, and actually fires a little faster too. So that's better in every way. Okay, with that we are done with this sector and we are about to move on to the final battle. I will catch you guys next time for that and we'll see if I can actually pull it off. See you then.